We will make a full and complete education a human right in America. But if you even want a ticket into America's middle class, then by golly, you got to get some education. Any country that out-educates us will out-compete us. College is not for everybody. In a highly competitive global economy, when we need the best educated workforce in the world, this proposal will make it possible for every person in America to get all of the education they need, regardless of their financial status. This means making public colleges, universities, and HBCUs tuition-free and debt-free. This means not only a college education, but the right to enter a trade school, the right to learn how to become a carpenter, or a plumber or a sheet metal worker and get one of the many important jobs that keep our society going. I don't often use the phrase, uh, but today we are in fact offering a revolutionary proposal. proposal will be fully paid for by a tax on Wall Street speculation. And I would say to older people, please remember that when you went to college in America, it was often tuition free and you had Pell Grants that covered 70, 80 percent of your expenses. That is not the case today. We will make a full and complete education a human right in America. Why not have some kind of a limit on income level so that, to prevent that situation where someone is... Because I'll tell you what, because I happen, and I think I speak for everybody up here, believe in universality. And that means that if Donald Trump wants to send his grandchildren to a public school, he has the right to do that. We have public schools in which, in fact, very wealthy kids do attend. Now, our response to making sure that this does not benefit the wealthy is in other areas where we are going to demand that the wealthy and large corporations start paying their fair share of taxes. But we are saying today is public colleges and universities should be tuition-free and debt-free for all Americans. We can make every public technical school, two-year college, and four-year college tuition and fee-free for every one of our kids. To make college universally available with free tuition and fees, and to put more money into Pell Grants so that students of color, so that our poor students have real access to college, and that we put some real money into our historically black colleges and universities. This is about opportunity for everyone. By basically the federal government writes the check for your tuition. Now, it comes with a string attached to it, and that is the that the state government cannot reduce what they're spending on education. So it doesn't, that keeps them from blowing up the cost. It is time for a wealth tax in America. 
I say for everything you own in a wealth tax, and it counts everything, your property, your diamonds, your yachts, your paintings, all the things you guys have, right? Uh, it counts all of those things. And it says, once you hit your 50 millionth and first dollar, you got to pitch two cents in and two cents for every dollar after that. If we put that two cent wealth tax in place on the 75,000 largest fortunes in this country, two cents, we can do universal childcare for every baby zero to five, universal pre-K, universal college, and knock back the student loan debt burden for 95% of our students and still have nearly a trillion dollars left over. It's definitely too expensive to go to college in this country. It's also way too expensive to not go to college in this country. This is not the same thing as K through 12. This is not the same thing as Social Security because college is not for everybody. Now I want everybody who wants to go to college to have the chance. I want to make sure cost is never a barrier. percent we're going to make it free the next 10 up to 90 percent we can we can have a sliding scale if you're in that top 10 percent I, I think it's okay for you to pay your own tuition and i'd rather use the money for other things so it's a little more targeted but it meets that that same goal now i'm going to be honest i, I don't take some of the steps that some of uh, the others in this campaign do. Uh, when it comes to a lot of these policies that we're being pushed to do, say that we can pay down the last penny of tuition for any student, including the child of a billionaire, uh, these are things that are questionable on their merits and, of course, also uh, pretty far out of the I believe we should move to make college affordable for everybody. There are some voices saying, well, that, that doesn't count unless you go even further, unless it's free even for, for the kids and millionaires. But I only want to make promises that we can keep. to 16 years of free public education for all our children. We all know that 12 years of public education is not enough. As a nation, let's make the same commitment to a college education today that we made to a high school education 100 years ago. In the 21st century, does anybody think 12 years of education is enough to get you to in the middle class to be able to stay in it? 12 years is not enough. Under my plan, everyone who qualifies to go to community college is going to be able to go for free. It costs $6 billion a year to send every qualified person who's going from high school to community college or having to be retrained and going back to community college because they lost a job because of digitalization and Moore's Law and artificial intelligence. Eliminate one of them. It's called stepped-up basis. You're about to go and cash in a capital gain. You figuratively speaking get hit by a truck. You lose your life. It gets left to your son or daughter. They don't pay a cent. It's not a heritage tax. It was a tax owed 10 seconds before you got hit. 